I'll be back at some point. I don't know how, I don't know when, but I'll be back. One way or another. At 1am, it was one of the earliest mornings I'd ever had, but I got myself out of bed to go on the road to Newcastle, Indiana for the Scusa Summer Nationals. It had been a long wait, but it was finally time for me to get back on the national stage of karting. I'd spent the first half of 2022 focusing on paying for college, but with the worst of that now behind me, I could begin to step back into the world I'd been missing for quite a while. I'd acquired an almost new Lando Norris card and would continue to race under the Mike Doty racing banner, although with Mike being absent this weekend, it would instead be Brandon Jarsokrak heading the team. Thanks. My dad would be heading there as my mechanic, although due to work getting in the way, he wouldn't be arriving until Thursday night. So for today and tomorrow's practices, I'd be driving and wrenching. feeling just a tad sleepy, but I'd be heading straight to the track to meet with the team and get my new cart put together. How are you doing? See ya. See you too. See ya. Good to see you too. I finally have one of these things. The driver who had driven this cart for one race before me was probably about half my size, so we had to make some adjustments to get it properly fitted for me, while also getting the setup back to standard as a starting point. If we try putting this up one, the pedals feel okay. Thank you. With the bulk of the work out of the way, now I just had to perform the final touches to be ready for the start of practice on Thursday. My race engines hadn't arrived, but fortunately there was a practice motor for me to start with in the morning. With that, our work was done for the day, and I could reacquaint myself with the track, and then go check in with some familiar faces. I'm uh, almost finished, as you can see. Well done. How about you? How are you? All set, ready to go. Apart nice. from the, my engines, which are not here. Classic. But it's okay. But it's okay. They'll be here tomorrow morning, and I have another one that I can start with. So, so we're gonna be fine. I like that. I like. I like it when we're fine. When yeah. We're fine is good. Oh, we're, we are. Yeah. Well, have Hans join, joining us once he puts his shoes on, <laughs> because he's Hans. Nice and Hans. Right. Hmm. I think yeah, I emptied all my racing stuff out of it. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Let me. I'd been up for just a few too many hours, so when I finally arrived at my hotel that night, I was just about ready to collapse onto the bed. Despite the room having some questionable smells, let's say. felt nice to get some rest, and now that I was feeling a little more energized, I was ready to get on track at a national event for the first time since last year's Super Nationals. Good morning. Good morning. 
see that uh, that loop Sebastian Bell is retiring at the end of the year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Yep. Mm -hmm. Morning. There was only a slight reek in the room, but other than that, it's perfect. On the, other than the stains in the carpet, with my race engine scheduled to arrive later in the day, I bolted the practice engine onto my car. You start the straightaway way quicker. Come in right like this. Brake in a straight line as soon as you're ready to turn in the corner, off the brake pedal. Let the car roll for a few car lengths. <laughs> had been a long road leading up to this point with some bumps along the way, but now I was finally about to reach a goal I'd been going for since Vegas last year. I didn't really know what to expect as I knew it'd be a little rusty, but nevertheless, it was thrilling to be back. In the first session, things were looking decent, although it was hard to say where I really stood as our engine was not up to par and my tires were old. was a positive first session and I knew the direction we had to go in with the setup going forward. What you, so you think mainly motor? What do you think of the go-kart? I feel like it wasn't very pointy, like it wasn't very pointy in the front and then it would get bound up mid-corner. That's what it looked like. It looked like you had to shove a lot of wheel into it and that yeah. would make the wheel come up like crazy high and then yeah. slam down. Yeah, exactly. We can put we can put front grip into it. And yeah. We'll just put a stiffer bar in or a caster, whichever you, whichever you drive. With the first session out of the way, we decided to throw on new tires and make some setup changes. And thankfully, my race engines arrived in time for me to put one of them on for the next session. Today's good for one now that the equipment was up to standard, we get a slightly better idea of how we were looking. Right from the outlap, the tone was set for the rest of the weekend, and things were looking feisty. On some racing practice, and now I knew what to expect from my competitors for the rest of the weekend. I just wonder if going out like that onto the curb is better because then you get the wheel straighter quicker there, you know what I mean? It'd be something to try next session. After a short lunch break, we were right back at it, trying to push for more pace. Being only Thursday, there was no live timing to show us where we really stood, but things seemed to be going alright. We continued to make progress and get faster with each session. When it came time for the last session of the day, however, things went haywire. My cart wouldn't start on the grid, and we scrambled to quickly find a solution. I looked down into the airbox only to find that it was filled with fuel. Then even without the airbox, it wouldn't run. Eventually, with a different airbox attached, we got fired up and I got out on track. It only lasted about a lap though before the issue that plagued me on the grid returned. A stuck needle in the carburetor ultimately couldn't be fixed with a different airbox, and my day came to an early end. It sucks to end the day that way, but yeah. at least the cart felt better. It was good progress today. Yeah. I think we began the right gear, and if I saw my driving out to the point where everything is just kind of pinpoint perfect, then we'll be there. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. So. 
despite a disappointing end. There were plenty of positives to take from the day, and now I just had to set my sights on Friday. I took a trip to the grass and then back on the tow truck in the last session. Wow. Needle got stuck. So I went to start it on the grid. I swapped out the carburetor to make sure the same thing would not happen tomorrow. And at that point, it was time to wrap up for the day. Ryan, and I'll see you in the morning. All right, see you. Have a good night. I just got to deal with Melly. That is true. Well, they're running it for Amarillo, but not for Yeah. Tell me when you get all or hooked Will do. See you in the morning. As I got back to my luxury hotel that night, I heard from my dad that his flight was repeatedly being delayed every hour, because there was no knowing when or if he would actually be here in the morning. As I woke up on Friday morning, I learned that my dad's flight had eventually taken off and was landing right as I was getting up. Morning. Needless to say, he needed a bit of rest first, but he'd come to the track later. And just pulled off because it wouldn't, it just wouldn't run. Today we'd see another full day of practice in preparation for the races tomorrow and Sunday. After a rough end to a decent morning. day on Thursday, I'd be looking to continue making progress and getting closer to the front. In the first session of the day, I was able to test the changes we'd originally made for the last session on Thursday, and things were feeling good. If this time I want to get the, uh, I want to try and get the other engine on for the next session as well. The next session? Yeah. Now we'd be trying the other of my race engines to see how it compared to the one around on Thursday. For two. Now things were really starting to click. We got in the cart and my driving to where we needed it to be in order to be competitive, and it looked as though we were among the quickest on track. And then finally, my dad made it mm -hmm. to the track. Did you sleep on the plane? I don't, but like, you know, I, how's it going? I sat with my eyes closed on the plane. Good, how are you? Pretty good. Well, that was better. Yeah, motor. I was like, I watched you on Australia the first time. I'm like, that thing is way too lean. I tried richening it a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try that. As the day went on, our pace continued to look reasonably solid, but it seemed that something was getting away from us as my times started to drop off slightly. The EGTs look good on the what are they? on the high, on the like 1076, 1063, 1089. I thought it was might be 11. No, like 1080. 1080. And then, but then on the low, they're still pretty rich. Oh, a little bit stiff on the axle. Yeah. The handling. Well, I don't know if I'd be afraid to even try that. We'll do it for session four. Yeah. Try like an HD. What did you think of the straight line speed? What? Because at the beginning it was it was off, but then at the end it was okay. So. I think we're a two too high. Towards the end it just we'll take it down. Tight slash it was weird. It was like tight on entry and then it got crazy loose on exit. Yeah. Even still, we knew we had to push hard in order to refine the time we'd lost from earlier in the day and match the leaders once again. Frustratingly, this session was a struggle, and I was not showing the strength I'd shown earlier. Didn't work. I mean, it was just like the car didn't feel good. I wasn't driving good. Yeah, I think it was a big mix of everything. Yeah. 
Because like when you hit, it. when you hit a few corners good, like that whole group in front of you was basically the top five. Yeah. You wouldn't lose them like crazy at all. But then like you'd make one mistake and it'd be a real big mistake and yeah. you'd lose them like crazy. With one session to go, we had one more chance to get back to grips with things and figure out whatever had cost us so much time in the previous session. Things only went more severely downhill, and now it was clear to see why. I was basically a sitting duck down the straits. The downturn in pace with this thing has been so severe. I, I, I went half a second slower from session three yep. to session uh, five, and it doesn't make any sense. What's your opinion? I mean, I, it didn't feel good to have people driving around me on the straights, yeah, so that sucked. That was awful. Yeah, it was terrible. I thought, I thought I was dri at least driving better than the last session. Yeah. Or if we just go back to the other engine. The other one you could at least close up on people on the straightaway. This one, yeah. like even when you're in the tow with them, you can't close at all, you just stay keep going. Despite another disappointing end of the day, it was important to focus on getting past the issue and staying positive for the races over the next two days. We decided to go back to the other engine I'd used on Thursday. I'll see you in the morning. Head out. Nice. It's a weird day. I don't think I've ever had like such a swing. Yeah. I've I've either been like fast for a full day or slow for a full day. I've never I've been like that fast and then that slow. Having ended practice on unideal circumstances, we were heading into race day number one on the back foot. But nevertheless, we were ready to take on the challenge, hoping to find the pace we showed earlier in the day, Friday. Morning. But that's an option too, thinking about my last night. Soon, it was time to head out for warm-up. Our pace still wasn't quite as strong as it had been midway through Friday, but much to our relief, this engine seemed to be working much better for us. When Stamfield got in front of you that one lap, it didn't really gap you much. It was just bit, like small increments every corner, but it wasn't like big anyway. It's gonna be hard in qualifying notes since I'm gonna, I'm gonna be around all those slower guys. So I'm gonna have to try really hard to get a good track position at the yeah. right time. Our poor showing in yesterday's final session meant I'd gridded around slower drivers, so it would be crucial for me to clear them as quickly as possible and set myself up for the final lap or two in the five minute session. what I needed to do and was able to put together a decent lap right at the end. I'd qualified 14th out of 43, which was pretty good considering I'd gotten no draft on my fast lap. How'd it go? Not bad. Well, that was pretty good for pretty much on our own. Yeah. I was, when, when I passed uh, Ali, I was really hoping I could catch up to that group ahead. I thought you were, but it just took one lap too long. Yeah. I was better than where we were. Yeah. I was 0 0.47 off with basically no draft, so that's not bad. I'm I'm considering happy. draft is worth like half a second. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah. What do you think about the go kart? Um, definitely so felt it felt better. Definitely felt better than yesterday. It rotated much better. If anything, on 
if anything, it was still maybe a little tight from mid corner to corner exit. So I'll just but go it, back to standard on the front then. Yeah. With a little time to deliberate, it was soon time to head out for the pre-final. I need to get my elbows out for my first national start of the year and try my best to make up some positions. Mechanical issue for another card helped me up slightly, but I managed to not lose much ground. At turn two, my rustiness in racecraft showed as I was way too early on the brakes. Immediately, I knew I had to get my aggression back up. and lots of battling, at the checkered I ended up back where I started in 14th. It was okay, it's not great. Where, how was my pace? Uh, Although it looked okay, we needed to find something extra for the final. What did you think, just quickly? Wait. Too loose. It was like the Definitely didn't feel as good as it did in qualifying. This car just looked like a similar point for Richmond. It's just like side point. The only thing different between your cars and the yeah. two parts are he has the front drop and his seat is like 20 mil farther back from yours. Yeah. I think we got him with the seat now. Because even like the Phillips over there, his seat's so much farther back from ours too. I think we gotta try it on. Because we're definitely not gonna be competitive with what we got right now. Yeah. It was a pretty big gamble and a significant setup change, but with where we were starting, it was a necessary risk. If it worked, it could propel me into the fight for a podium. Starting from 14th again, I had an outside shot of making my way to the front if our setup number worked. If it didn't work, I'd be hanging on for dear life with a badly handling go-kart. I kept my hopes high and believed that now I could show what I was made of.
It had been a miserable race, and spinning in front of an entire grandstand was just the perfect way to top it off. Our setup gamble had not paid off, and although I fought hard, I tumbled down the order like a rock. It was heart wrenching, especially knowing that I'd embarrassed myself in such I, I, a stupid way. I didn't feel like way. I was driving bad, but I was still so slow. But the car's all right. You can't, you can't yeah, I know. You got a fucked up car, and you're not gonna. I know, but. Even before. Let's get it back to where it was. So, just back to basics. That was terrible. As far as what? Go kart? Or... Oh, they are. I just feel like. I mean, like the spin was terrible on my part, but like the car. Other than that, it was, it was terrible. It was like, it was slow. Well, we'll put it back to where it was. Yeah. Some off-roading, some curbs. After some time collecting my thoughts, I knew that despite the disappointment of today's final, I still had another full race day coming up tomorrow. And now, it was time to shift my focus to that. Good night. I'll try. Uh, I'll, I'll try it, but no promises. Oh yeah, the Applebee's red. Applebee's red. <laughs> See you next See you See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. The electric car is amazing. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, you were sideways. Uh, about the dirt. <laughs> yeah. Lost a little bit of traction. That was that was bad. I just saw tail end it. It's like you you look at the video and it's so weird because my front wheel was still on the track. Right. It was literally just like half of the rear wheel rear wheel got on the dirt and it just like fell off that lip. The car bottomed out and just went. That's gnarly right there. They need to fill it. Yeah. It needs to be a curb. Yeah. Scooting up like a mile. All right. Before I get in. Yep. Rafe walks in. <laughs> this guy. Yeah. Yeah, Rafe told me he was sharing a room with Hans, and I'm like, wait, I thought Kevin was sharing a room with Hans. I don't know if we're all going to be at one table, but I mean, there's four of us. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> we might be set. Yeah. See you in the morning. Take care, brother. You should honestly, I think Frank is a... After such an unfortunate final, it was nice to relax and clear my head with some friends. As a result, I felt refreshed, reset, and ready to have another shot at it on Sunday. What? Didn't make your bed again. Yeah, you have to request it. No, I said you didn't you make it. <laughs>
still managed to be quicker than several of the carts around me, but not a single lap had been in clear air. As a result of that and a broken rear bumper, I'd qualified back in 27th out of 43. The bumper bolt broke. I was wondering what happened. Yeah, it was just, it was, it was hanging out. It was just being held on by the... first lap? Because it was like way out of control the first lap. All things considered, 27th isn't the worst I could have qualified, but I'd have a steep task ahead of me to get back to where I wanted to be. I was ready for a tough and aggressive pre-final. Positions, and now I settle on making up more ground. I made up 9 spots to finish 18th. As soon as I got forced off at turn 1, I just lost the drop and that was it. Until then, I thought it was going pretty good. I had hit a curve pretty hard as well, so that was cool. It was decent until I lost the drop. Yeah. What do you think of the go for? I thought it handled pretty good. I think that taking the seat struts off worked. On the last lap, when I was behind Gillard. I it looked like he was about to drive straight off and drop a wheel. That's the only reason I cut back to the outside. Obviously that was a wrong choice, but after some time to reflect on the pre-final, I knew that I was at least starting in a position I could fight from in the final. Oh, was decent. And then it was time for the finale of the weekend. I was determined to rectify what had happened in the Saturday final and set things right, ending my return to national karting on a good note. Despite the ups and downs, it had been great to finally get back to competing at this level, and without really knowing when I'd get the chance to do this again, I made sure to take in every second of it between here and the checkered flag.
Unfortunately, my camera died before the end of the race, but after more aggressive battling, a bumper penalty pushed me back to 17. Without that, I would have been 12. It was a solid race, and I'd only been a couple of tenths off the leaders. What happened? Across the, the, the corner, I don't know what it's first and second to cross that last turn, across the dirt, straight across the track, across the finish line, and on the dirt again. Who was it? I got a half pushback. I'm gonna look and see if I can protest it because it resulted from. I, I didn't gain any, any positions, so yeah. it resulted from someone pile driving me into turn two. Although I didn't deserve the penalty and looked at protesting it, I ultimately decided it wasn't worth the protest fee and instead settled for knowing where I deserved to finish. In the end, it had been a positive end of the weekend, and although I didn't get quite as high up as I'd have liked to, I could go home in the knowledge that I had been competitive in a field where anyone in the top 20 was fast enough to win. Considering I jumped into this race having not raced nationally for so long, and been too busy with work to get any testing done beforehand, I felt that I could be content with how the weekend ended. Now it was time to get packed up for our flight back home that night. When you touched a friend of mine Thought that I'd lose my mind But I found out with time That really I was not ready No, no to a regional race in Amarillo in one week, but I had mixed emotions over the future in terms of national races. With one more year of college coming up, a budget for racing was about to take another hit. I'll be back at this level soon enough, but when and where that may be remains to be seen. One thing is for sure though, I've yet to accomplish what I really want at the national level, and I won't stop until I do. <laughs>